Wow. Look at these brushes. The artist has no doubt. The artist is full of doubt. Have you seen this? Puppy fuck me. <laughs> I know you finished your residency two months ago, but tell me about your first impressions of the house. I really feel like I answered this question for a hundred times. Yes. But still today when I come in, I just feel like this is such a place for everyone. You know? That's how I feel from the very beginning. And I still feel so like, We are, maybe use Dirk's word, like we are a tribe of person, of people. There's something bring us together, you know? But each one of us stands for our own. It's like what's written in the garden, like each one of us will find our own way, you know? So, that's really something that I take from here. Do you feel like you got to find your way during your time here? Let's say maybe I, I don't know if I'm trying to find a way to be honest, because I'm, I'm not trying to find a way, but it's more like, oh fuck, now life bring me here. Now I am here, you know? And then what I will do next, that's always the, the question that will excite me. Like, what next? Hmm. Is that confusing you? No, but I, I think to connect it to this place, like, did that change for you having had this experience? Like, is your next move gonna be oh, yeah, different yeah. because of your time? Definitely, I think... I think I... I... I am confused more than ever, in a way. But in the same time, because I am aware of this confusion, and I actually, like, give myself the permission to to accept it to to take it in like oh yes that's 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 part of me and take that in let's talk about your work and what what you did coming into the house what i guess your artistic background is and, and then what you did during your time here and, and what that was like. <laughs> Do I have an artistic background? I don't think so. I mean, I'm such, it's, it's, it's not something in my plan in my life to be an artist. It's not, it's, and it's not also, it's not a calling. It's not one day, like 3 p.m. inside a charge, like the, sun's, the sunshine hits me and all of a sudden I, I feel like I need to be an artist. It's not, it's actually like over, almost a year period of of you know self argument self debate when i was still working uh for a magazine and that really that that whole period like so many things happened in that one year and then it's really shaped reshaped my my whole point of view about life about about everything and so coming here, uh -huh. you were exploring new mediums, you yeah. continued photography, continued illustrating collage. What, what did you do during your time here? What was that part of your journey? Mm, absolutely. I mean, come on, it cannot be not part of my journey. It's, you know, I... You know, I, I'm not a leather man myself. I, 
I probably have a hat, like this pilot hat, which ha hat, no, pilot hat. Maybe you can call it a little bit like leather. Other than that, I have nothing. Oh, I have a, a iPad too, but I give it to friends as a gift now. Like I don't need it. I never really use it. And what I found amazing is that, you know, Dirk shop, I mean, shop himself is not a leather man too, you know. But I really feel so accepted here. I don't feel the oblig obligation to, to wear leather or to be something like Tom's fantasy or Tom's images, you know. And I have to admit that I'm such a bad student. I maybe, maybe I spend maybe 10 to 12 hours in total. That's the kind of like the tops maybe I have to give a 20% discount that I spent in the in Tom's room or like the uh, library here to go through different artists work. And to be honest, I don't, I, I admire some of their skills. It's really amazing. Like you see that you see mm, this is something good. And I would like to keep it with me, you know, if I can. If I could, I surely would. <laughs> so what, but, but you used those materials oh, yeah, for, for your yeah, work. And absolutely. so you, like, how would you define this chapter of your work? Like what is, you know what? I, I start to pay even more attention to those things that are around me. So my new work now in New York, is made of things that keep traveling with me, like in my luggage. Some of them are really like rubbish, but I just don't know why I want to keep them. And some of them is something I decided, okay, I, I have, it's time to say goodbye. I can let it go now, you know? And some of them is like quite memorial things, like maybe gift from Dirk or gift from um, Oat, you know? But I, I will decide, okay, now let's say goodbye to this, put it, onto an artwork and that artwork can end it up anywhere sometimes they ended up in the friend's apartment where i stay sometimes they ended up with the fuck body i met on online and then yes this happens in palm spring that's i was going I, I was going through with his collection in his room in his house with this guy and we start to talk like oh he, he started to share with me that there's a fireplace. He still wants a painting there. <laughs> and I told him, and I asked, and I told, told him, well, this might be weird, but I do have a painting with me in my car. Do you want to take a look? Maybe you will like it. <laughs> and? And I said, if you like it, I, I like the, this space because I like this fireplace. I would like to see my paintings here. So if you promise me you give me this place, then I will give you this painting for free and then you, you, you have to put it there. <laughs> and then he checked my painting and he really liked it. And then we just put the painting there. And now the painting just stay there. What about this experience will stay with you on your future travels? Well, it's, come on, guys. If you really pay attention to the title I gave to my presentations, I, that's already my answer. You know, my, my, my title of my first pre presentation was, I come here to, to listen. And that's really, really important learning. And that's the things I want to take from here, is that I want to always remind myself to listen, to really be in that moment, to feel that moment. You know, as Americans will say, or people in the West will say, or people anywhere will say, to feel the room. <laughs> and that's, that's, that's one thing, which for me is like a summary. You know, as artists, we actually, you know, you like to put things together, but you don't want to make it too, too obvious. <laughs> I'm sorry to say this as an artist, Let's just speak for myself. Like, I don't want the message to be so clear, but I want something which is so, in a way, daily use, daily used. 
but in a way it can be so profound in the same time it just depends on which perspective you stand with and then you know a, a sentence like i come here to listen it takes it takes a lot of humility here from here so you can really listen you know most of us are all the time chuckling with our ego inside we are not listening we are not in the conversation i found myself so many times in that like i am there and there's conversation happening to me but i'm not there i'm thinking something else